Hey, hello, this is Burn. And if you're in pain because a man hurt you in the past and you've been unable to move forward with your life, your love life specifically, because you feel that pain, I'm going to share with you right now six steps to forgive a man who hurt you. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious, ambitious, heart-centered women how you can attract the man you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy techniques, and do it as a result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, if you're a human being, a woman specifically, who's hurt by a man in your past, and it's still challenging to forgive him, you still hold that anger in your heart, and you recognize because you're aware enough to know that it's damaging your possibilities right now because you're overreacting with men, then here are six steps to move forward from that. Step number one is, and you might be a surprise, but it's true, forgive yourself for whatever you feel you should have done different or could have done different. The reality is if you could have done something different, you would have done it differently. If you knew better, you would have done better. So it's hard sometimes because even if you feel like there's nothing logically that I should have done, this is something that happened, uh, maybe somebody was damaging to you in some way and maybe you were victimized in that moment. So there's nothing that you actually did wrong, but whether you did it or not, the brain sometimes comes up with weird ways to blame you for things that there's no way you could have changed because it's just what happened. So first step before you can forgive him is forgive yourself for not being perfect, forgive yourself for not having known better, forgive yourself for not having realized, for not recognizing the signs. Because when you do that, then a huge weight is lifted up your shoulders. Just recognize that if you knew what was going on, you would have done it differently. Step number two is understand there's going to be a big difference between the initial anger of that situation and perennial anger, which is what might be happening right now. Initial anger means your nervous system has created a mechanism to protect you from that stuff happening again. So how does it protect you? When you get really angry, then you sometimes react strongly and prevent people from connecting with you. Now, the problem with that is that typically it could be an overreaction. So when you are angry and you push people away, you close your heart, you hold not just boundaries, but you hold a fortress around your heart, then no one can hurt you seemingly, but you're hurting yourself because you're not getting the love you want and no one can enter your life. Now, perennial means that it's continuing and when it continues, you overextend the welcome of that anger. It no longer serves its purpose, but you haven't recognized that it's within your grasp to change it. So recognizing you can change it sets you free to create a new life and to forgive yourself and forgive other human beings. Forgiveness does not mean you condone, you agree with, you accept, you venerate what happened. Forgiveness is a personal process that sets you free and allows you to move forward with your life. And when you forgive a man, if you have been thinking or maybe having the intuition that if you forgive the person, then you're making it okay. You're not even have, you don't even have to talk to that human being to forgive the person. You don't have to say it's okay. You can say it happened and I'm not gonna allow the memory of that to ruin my life, my prospects, my chances, my happiness, my freedom, my fulfillment. I am bigger than anything that can happen to me. And even though I still think it's shitty and I don't agree with it and I don't think it's okay, I don't have the luxury anymore in my life to hold onto that anger because it's preventing me from my happiness and my joy. Find a deeper meaning for that situation. Would you ever wish that situation upon anyone? Would you ever uh, create it or cause it for someone else? Absolutely not. Since it happened, how can you use it to your advantage? Your brain can only focus primarily on the pain of what happened or the blessing of the lessons that came from what happened. So my invitation to you today is connect more strongly, more consciously, more powerfully and with more discipline to what the hell did you learn from it? How can you use it for the future? How can you help someone else not have to go through it? How can your heart be expanded? How can you be more conscious about life? How can you be more humble? How can you be more empathetic towards other people's pains because of what you went through? When you recognize that there's a blessing in the shitstorm that got landed on your shore, then you can focus on the gifts from that blessing and you can, while you feel the pain of what happened, you also focus on what can be and the gift 
that came from something difficult. Recognize that you are the one who's getting hurt the most. You might be erroneously thinking that if you hold on to that anger that you are you don't talk to that person, I mean, I'm not saying you should talk to that person, maybe you shouldn't, but if, if you hold on to that anger that you're somehow hurting that human being. And the truth is the only person that's being hurt is you, your liver, your heart, your nervous system, your sense of possibilities, your openness, your vulnerability, all those things are at play right now. So when you recognize that you are the one who's getting hurt the most, like Mandela, they asked him, Nelson Mandela, they asked him, how can you forgive those who put you in prison for 30 something years? And he said, well, I recognize that uh, holding on to anger and not forgiving someone is very similar to drinking poison, hoping that other person gets hurt. You're drinking the poison, the other person's not getting hurt. So give yourself the gift of liberation, regardless of the other human being. Step number six, take the step. So what's the step? The step of saying, I am free from that pain. I won't allow that human being to hold me captive, to hold my happiness and my fulfillment and my possibilities captive any longer. I choose to give myself a spiritual gift of freedom. And the step is write it, journal it, run, shout, jump, listen to music, meditate, anything that gets you to burn through that pain, anything that gets you to let it out, anything that lets you not have it in your head but put it outside in the real world, whether it's paper by writing or whether it's a poem that you create, whether it's a song that you manifest, anything that alchemizes pain. An alchemist is in essence a human being who can turn shit into gold. Become an alchemist of your life. That's the message. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing on the first line on the description of this video. If you're interested in learning how you can attract a person, a human being, a guy who's conscious, and do so without all the pain that you've been going through in the past, I created a free class for you that all you have to do is click on that link, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately taken to that video so you can start watching it. If you enjoy this video, please click like and thumbs up. Uh, or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes. And last but not least, if you're a human being who's listening to this saying, you know what, I like what he has to say and I know that videos and books and ebooks are not cutting it, I need more help and hand holding, then I might be able to help you on the second link on the description of this video. You'll find a way for us to connect, fill up a little form, and if I can help you, uh, we connect, if I can help you, I'll share with you how the process works and how we can work together. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for giving yourself the possibility of liberating yourself from, from pain that you've been holding on to. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.